what I find is that the world is divided into 50-50. And I, I, I will tell you why 50-50. So we find that 50% of the customers that I talk to, which are in heavily regulated industries, uh, say it may be financial services, it may be pharmaceuticals, it may be healthcare providers, it may be government agencies and things like that. If these are regulated industries for whether it's the type of customers they have and so on, for control of these devices, they do want to provision these devices. They understand that there is a cost okay. associated with provisioning these devices, but they want to provision these devices because then they can control what applications are provided on these devices and what can they access. In certain industries, we have also seen Cesar, they want to control the phone numbers, right? If a company has 50 to 100 phone numbers given to their sales associates. Mm -hmm. They want to keep those numbers and when the sales associate leaves the company, they don't want them to take the number with them. Okay. So what you see is in 50% of the customers, we have seen a very strong uh, kind of preference to say that we want to control which kind of device we support. So as you have seen that this is a constantly evolving space and today there is a particular vendor hardware or on the uh, operating system side, two years from now, who knows what the picture will look like. And when I look at the other 50%, the second school of thought, they said, hey, I know that every employee has a personal device, whether it's a smartphone or a tablet, or sometimes both, right? We typically find that some uh, people have two of them or three of them because they like doing different types of uh, devices and playing with it and so on. And what we see there is companies are saying, we do not for cost reasons, as well as for IT maintenance reason, we do not want to be in the business of provisioning as well as buying these devices and worrying about data plans and so on. All right. right, so it is a cost driven approach, but more than cost, I would say it is also an approach from a management headache, IT management headache perspective. Mm -hmm. Why should, you know, today this is a, today we have Android based devices, tomorrow our corporate, stand, you know, people will start bringing in mm -hmm. new iOS devices. Yeah. Who knows, there may be some new operating system a year from now, right? Yeah. We did not think three years ago that Android will be so prevalent. Four years ago, we did not know iOS will be so prevalent, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a constantly evolving space. And in that, the companies are saying, we don't want to keep up with what is, how do I manage iOS device or how do I manage an Android device or a Windows mobile device or a, a Symbian device and so on. Okay. So let employees do whatever they want. In that scenario, they want to make sure that if they are accessing corporate data from these devices, that the corporate data is encrypted and you know it is within a container and things like that so that when the employee leaves you just wipe the corporate data okay. but you do not uh, touch their personal data because it's not a business of the company to touch anything on the personal side. I'm not trying to complicate the thing but sometimes we find that some companies even take the hybrid approach. Hybrid. They will, okay. Yeah, and what they will say is for a certain class of employees, say finance department, right, where we want it very regulated, our CEO, CEO, CFO, all the C-level executives, my finance department, my legal department, those kind of departments I want to provision those devices uh -huh. because I don't want them to bring their own device, the data on it is too mission critical okay. and I don't want. And and for everybody else, if you are in sales, if you are in engineering, mm -hmm. or whatever the case might be, you can possibly bring your personal device. Okay. So you find that there are also hybrid approaches where companies are trying to see what they can do okay. so that employees can do both. That if you are a high value employee, then we will give you the device because we are worried about the data on your device. If you lose the device, etc., etc., mm -hmm. 
and all, uh, you know, set the day. For the first 50% of the case or the other 50%, it is all about information. Okay. Can, you know, I do not want to lose my corporate information from this device, whether it was a company's device or whether it was a personal so usually device. there are a lot of approaches and there are a lot of solutions out there, but usually it, they create a sandbox, right, a container approach okay. in which you can do email, calendar contact or secure browsing or your application that you have for doing expense reporting, all that is done within this secure container. So what typically happens when I talk to customers who are going with this other approach okay. is that these kind of applications, whatever the customer decides to choose, it is typically available from an app store or something. So you just download it as an employee, okay. you just configure it, there are a bunch of configuration steps okay. and you start using it. Okay. When the employee leaves, the company can just, you know, remote kill that particular application okay. or wipe out the data and that way there is still a separation between the personal and corporate data okay. and then companies not in the business of hey you got iPad or you got Android tablet or you got this and that it's just very simple okay. because you can take the posture of you know what what I have seen over the last three four years is a mobile device whether it's your tablet iPad or an iPhone or whatever the Android phone it is like any other desktop or laptop, yeah. right? I mean, you are doing computing there. The only advantage is it's smaller and you can take everywhere, but you're always computing there like you're computing on a laptop. So are you managing it seamlessly, whether it's a desktop, laptop, server, or your mobile device? And how, why do you create a different security posture okay. for mobile or not? Right, uh, depending on where you find start. is that what are the benefits of allowing people to bring their own devices? So, say I am used to iPhone, okay, and I used iPhone in my university and I love it, and I use a lot of applications on my iPhone. Okay. I come to the company, and the company has a policy just to allow Blackberry. Now, for me to switch from iPhone to BlackBerry, I could do it, but why should I do it? I really like my iPhone. Yes. So, if you are going to say, hey, uh, Cesar, you can use your iPhone, you are already paying for it, we'll allow you to bring it and still access corporate data, you may see it as a positive because you are used to running applications and so on and you don't want to switch. Okay. At, at the end of the day, we look at what is the value of the information on that device. Okay. Right? And based on that, we make a determination on how expensive or cheap that device is worth to you, right? And, um, you know, the cost associated with it.